Also at this hour, Thailand's constitutional court has ruled in Prime Minister Prayut Chanocha's favor. It says the Prime Minister has not exceeded his maximum eight years in office, clearing the way for his return to office from a five-week suspension. ผู้ถูกรองจึงดำรงตำแหน่งนายกรัฐมนตรียังไม่ครบกำหนดเวลาตามรัฐมนตรีแห่งราชการไทยพุทธศักราช 2556 ปรายุทธ์อาลีอันอามีคอมมานเดอร์ถูกพาวเวอร์ในปี 2014-2019 Opposition lawmakers argue that using 2014 as a starting date, the Prime Minister reached his legal limit last month. But the Prime Minister and his supporters say that 2017 should be considered the starting year, as opposed to the 2014 coup timeline. This is because the current constitution came into effect in April 2017, allowing him to serve until 2025, if he is returned to office after the next general election. In a 6-3 or in a 6 against 3 ruling, the court said that because the constitution came into effect after Prayut had already taken power, the term limit did not apply to the time he had previously served. They added the constitution did not specify it could be applied retroactively. The Thai Prime Minister has welcomed the ruling. Writing on his Facebook page, Prayut said that he would use the government's remaining time in office to push ahead with infrastructure projects. The ruling might be a big boost for the Prime Minister, but many in Thailand are not impressed. Protests were held in Bangkok against the court's ruling. ตามดูแลพินิจตัวเองอ่ะครับก็คือตัดสินตามไปสั่งที่เขาสั่งมาอีกทีนึงอะไรอย่างเงี้ยก็คือประยุทธ์ก็มีอำนาจอยู่แล